magnitude of the resultant force is to be 500 newton so the magnitude of the resultant force is to be 500 newton directed along the positive y axis so this is the y axis this is the y axis and is being in this direction so the resultant force is in this direction fr find the magnitude of the force f so now we are looking for this force here f and it m direction so we're going to decide theta now the only way you can solve this is to use parallelogram law of vector addiction so we draw the diagram again we have this 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 uh, so this is our unknown force this is our resultant force this is our 700 newton force now to use parallelogram law of vector addiction we draw lines in such a way that the diagram looks like a parallelogram something like this yeah. now the angle here is theta which is unknown and which is the direction of the unknown force the angle here is 15 and since this is a straight line the angle here is 90 degrees and the whole of this angle here is equal to the angle here which will give us 105 degrees the angle here the whole of this angle here is 90 degrees and we know the direction of the the unknown force to be theta so meaning the angle at this side is going to be 90 minus theta so let's uh, denote the 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 side angles as a so here yeah b so you can call this place c which is 105c so this place is 2 is b sorry this place is a it is the same as it is the same as this angle here a This 105 is the same as C, so this place is also like C, and now here is B. Yeah. So now from this diagram, we can draw a triangle from it. So we can have this. The angle here was A, the angle here was C, the angle here was B. The force here was F, which was unknown. Now this force here is the same as the known force, let's say F2, the 700 force here, F2. Then here is the resultant force, FR. From this diagram, we know that the FR is known, the F2 is known, the F is not known, and which is the four that we are looking for. So using the cosine rule, we know that this F, which we don't know, is equal to root of the known ones. So FR square plus f2 square minus 
two times fr times f2 cos cos the angle which is opposite to the fold that we are looking for which is f the angle which is opposite to the fold that we, we, we are looking for is c so cos c and we know that c is 105 from this um, diagram 105 here now let's input the values there f is equal to we know the resultant force to be 500 square plus we know the the known force to be 700 let me confirm again yes yeah, 700 700 also square minus 2 times 500 times 700 cos 105 So when you input the whole of these values under the square root bracket in a calculator, you are going to have the unknown force to be 959.77 Newton. And we can approximate it as or we can approximate it to 960 newton now the f is being found as to be 960 let's find the angle at which f was being directed to now to find the angle we are looking for the angle here the theta here now to find this angle, we're going to use sine rule. And we know that from the diagram, we know that sine, sorry, I've made a mistake here. Yeah, so I was I was saying from the diagram, we know that f2 over sine b is equal to f over sine sine c so the sine rule is all about the force over over the sign of its opposite angle. So if I take F over sign of its opposite angle, which is C, so F over C, which is equal to, I can take FR over sign of its also opposite angle, which is A. So FR over sign A, which is equal to F over sign C, and which is also equal to F2 over sine B. Since I know F2 and I know F, I know C, I don't know B, and B is the angle that I'm looking for. B is the angle that I'm looking for. I'm going to have 700 over sine sine 90 
minus theta, which is equal to sine, and which is equal to b. 90 minus theta equal to b. So uh, basically, I can make it as this sine 90 minus theta is also equal to cos theta. So for the best result, I can make it as cos theta is equal to 960 over sine 105. Now I have 700 cos theta equal to 960 over sine 105 will give me 0 0.9659 so now cos theta when you punch everything cos theta is not going to be 0 0.7 Six five nine. Now theta is going to be cos inverse of zero point seven six five nine, which is going to give us theta equal to forty five point two two degrees yeah so now the force and its direction is equal to 960 newton and zero four five Point two two degrees. Yeah, so that is it. For any question, you can email it to my email in the description area. Thank you.